it's quite difficult to, to, to sum it up as, as a community because in its entirety it's, it's quite fragmented. The community beyond these doors is, is not really so joined up as it used to be. And people have moved out of the area, the children haven't been rehoused here. And yet within that, we've got this little conclave that have managed to remain together. For me, what summed it up is I used to have a bar staff called Charlotte, and Charlotte always talked about her granddad. And we had a funeral just recently, and granddad I've never met before, but I knew this was granddad. I knew this was Charlotte's granddad when he came to the bar because she talked about him so much and with such affection. And that atmosphere that you get from, from these sort of venues just is, is disappearing. And it's only the old vanguard, really, that are, that are hanging on in there, like Grandad. You know, Grandad would not be seen anywhere else. When they say Grandad hasn't come home yet, let's go down to the Pride and see where, see if he's, see if he's still there. And of course, Grandad's still there. <laughs> they know where to find him. It's that security of knowing that granddad is somewhere safe. And that's what's been ripped away. That's what's been torn apart. You know, people aren't secure within their community now. There's more of a need to want to put fences up, put gates up, put security doors on, put locks on. All these layers of security are breaking down those, those sentiments. Well, as they close down one by one, I mean, as a community, we're going to be a lot poorer. You know, what, what happens to the granddads of this world? Do they just stay at home? So, only time will tell. <laughs>